Yeah, I've been probably talking for about 20 minutes and this thing was not recording. Okay, this is Girlfriends Season 1, Episode 6. This is actually the season finale. I'm going to do this, re re this recap really quick. So, they're in Spain and it's the morning that Linda has to go to identify Mickey's body. Okay. So he's basically recounting, they're sitting around trying to get themselves together and they're, she's basically recounting their relationship because of course everybody thinks that they've had this perfect, you know, love affair all these years, right? And Linda was like, no, basically he was an abusive asshole. And so they, she's basically recounting the morning leading up to um, Mickey's death and how they got into it, they had an altercation. And how it was, you know, revealed. At this point, it was revealed because they did a flashback where it was revealed that Ryan is not Mickey's son. Now, he knew that uh, Linda was pregnant when he married her. So, it wasn't like he she trapped him or anything like that. But he, Ryan is not Mickey's son. And so, he basically, they, you know, got into the little argument. He grabbed her up and pushed her on the bed. And she had these bruises on her arm that morning. So, she goes out. She left the room. Because at this point, Mickey is already drunk. And so Ryan sees her, and based on the conversation with Ryan, you get a feel for, okay, this is maybe something that has actually been happening in their marriage because even Ryan was like, this is ridiculous. This mess has to stop. And so basically Ryan was like, okay, you know, accidents that see happen all the time. So, you know, we could just get rid of Mickey's ass and go on with our day, right? If, you, if that's what you really want to do, we can do that. But she was like, no, nah, but you know, she was like, no, 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 no. So they make it back to the room. Mickey offers to take them, take them to the bar to buy them a drink. Somehow they end up outside, you know, he's taking photos of them. And I don't know if they were technically allowed to be where they were, but because there was nobody else around. There was nobody else out on the boat. And so uh, Ryan is taking photos of them. He's asking them to pose. And eventually he asks them to pose near the railing, kind of looking at it to see. Basically, he's going to take a picture of them from behind. So he's like, you know, you know, trying to pose them and take this photo why he run up on Mickey's ass like he was really about to toss Mickey's ass head first into the damn water. And but Mickey whipped around like, Mickey whipped around and was it, it was like this awkward moment where they kind of was chest to chest because he, you know, char kind of charged like he was really Mickey was almost done for, okay? So he's like, What is going on? Oh no, nothing, nothing. Right. And so I how they were able to play that off because that situation was so awkward as anybody's guess. And so they go back to the room and where they, Sue and Gail and Linda are sitting there. And they say, so Gail and, and Sue like, well, okay, then who was Ryan's father? And it was just some random guy she met on vacation. She was young and dumb and ended up getting, ended up getting pregnant, basically. Get, they finally get themselves together and they're on their way to the police station to identify, identify Mickey's body. Now earlier that morning, the police had called to set up a time and they actually gave, her, gave them directions on how to get there. But they end up getting turned around and lost. It's hot as Satan's toenail, so they decided to stop for a minute to get their bearings. Linda went into the bar to get get a, a glass of water. And then she sees who she thinks is Mickey, right? So, of course, she's freaking out. She drops the glass. It breaks everyone in the bar. She runs outside. And she's like, oh, she, you know, of course, uh, uh, Sue and Gail out there. And she's like, oh, my God, that's Mickey. It's Mickey. He's, he's not dead. He's in there. I saw him. He's in there. So, of course, she's just there because they're looking at her like, girl, Mickey ass is dead. His ass is on the slab in the morgue. And we're about to go. You're about to go. You got about to go identify him. He's dead, girl. He's dead. He's gone. And so, just to put our mind at ease, they, Gail and Sue go in to look kind of look around. And there's no Mickey to be found. So, it's like, oh, Lord, Linda, her mind playing tricks on her, okay? They eventually make it to the station, and she's, you know, standing by the body bag, and, they're, you know, basically they're about to un unzip the bag. They unzip the bag, and they don't show what he looks like, but you can see Sue gets lightheaded. She almost passes out. Gail has to catch her. Sue is nauseous. She's about to throw up. I mean, it's just the whole scene, right? So you can only imagine what this person looked like, you know, what the body looked like after being in the water for some time. Linda was basically like, you know, I can't tell by this, you know, but he did have a tattoo on his arm. So they unzipped the bag even more and she see a tattoo on the arm and she was like, yeah, that was him. That's him. That's him. So they was like, so Gail and Sue were like, thank God that's over. They end up going outside to wait for her to do, you know, finish up whatever she needs to finish up as far as get whatever paperwork she needs to get in order to take possession of the body. They're outside and they're like, oh my God, thank God that's over. That's just... 
you know, trying to get some fresh air, right? And so Linda comes out with the paperwork, and she's, you know, letting them know what they're saying. It's like it's going to be $300 for this, that, and the third. And, you know, to have them cremated and all of this. And they basically like, this is over. Sue was basically like, okay, we'll figure that out. I, I, I got the money. I got, I brought my cards. We'll pay whatever we need to pay. And thank God that's over. And Linda was like, well, there's just one thing. And, she was, and they were like, what? She said, but that's, that's not Mickey. His tattoo was something else other than what the other the tattoo on the, in the of the body of the morgue had. So that wasn't Mickey's body, okay? So of course now they're looking at her like she's the said, Why would you lie? What is going on? They basically, she was basically like, I just I just want this over and done with, right? So they basically head to the beach, you know. I guess to kind of keep back to have some margaritas or whatever. Ruby calls. Ruby is like, okay, so what happened? She basically, Linda basically tells her that, you know, we identify the body, this and the third, cremation, the fees, whatever the case may be. Ruby wants to come over, and then she's like, no, no, we got everything, we just want to take care of this, and we're going to come home. So they find themselves at this little uh, uh, cafe, and they're ordering, you know, they went there to sit down for a few, it's a few minutes to have some cocktails. Linda gets up to go to the bathroom. Next thing you know, she, she's headed to the bathroom, and... Mickey jumps from out of nowhere and grabs her, spins her around, and he's basically like, you tried to kill me, and of course, she's terrified, she's like, you know, and at this point, you don't really know, is if, is this really happening, or is she crazy, it's, it's, has she really snapped, and she's just, you know, based on, you know, because of what she's done, her mind just can't take it, and she's just having a mental break at this point, so it's taking her longer than it should to come back, and so... Gail went to look for her, so she went to the restroom, checked the stall. Linda's nowhere to be found. So, of course, she goes back to the table to tell Sue. Sue is like, okay, well, we need to find her. So, they get up and they walk around, she, and she, they find her in the alley somewhere. She's just terrified. She's shaking. They're like, what in the world is going on? What what, what happened? What, what are you doing? And she's like, Mickey's alive. And basically, he's blackmailed her and told her he wants the insurance money or... He's going to go to the authorities and tell them, basically, he's going to have some miraculous res uh, resurrection, and he's going to have a story in his heart to tell the, 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 the police, and her ass is going to end up behind bars. That is basically the gist of their conversation, and it scared her so much that she said she pissed herself, so they had to help her up, and, you know, of course, they go back to the hotel, and so now, at this point, they're like, okay, so what are we going to do? They're like, you know, at this point... Linda's in a no win situation. If she gives Mickey the money, then they're going to be like, okay, well, what the hell happened to all the, the insurance money? Okay. There's going to be questions about that. And if, definitely, if Mickey somehow pops up on the beach sipping, co sip, sipping the cocktails and it's found out that he's still alive, then she's going to have questions on that end too, right? So they're like, okay, we got to kill him. We got to get rid of Mickey's ass, okay? We just. There's just nothing. There's no way around it. He has to go. He just has to go. So, Linda's uh, doctor gave her more sleeping pills. And I remember in the previous episode where she OD'd on these sleeping pills. And at this, you know, it's still unclear whether she did it on purpose or whether it was an accident because she was having trouble sleeping. But nonetheless, her doctor prescribed her more sleeping pills. So Sue was like, "Okay, we can crush these pills up and put them in his drink." <laughs> Gail's like, "Oh my God!" Gail, Gail's just like she's terrified. She's like, "Oh my God!" Like I don't want to go to prison. Yeah, we friends and all, bitches. I ain't trying to go to prison dealing with y'all. No, oh my God. She's just so out of it, right? Like, well, she, Linda's our friend, and we got to do what we got to do. So, eventually, she was like, she, she resigned herself to play her part in, the, in this whole situation, right? So, um, Mickey, I guess, Mickey has set up some time with Linda to meet at this particular bar. So, Mickey got him a little set going, right? He's actually performing. He's singing and playing, I guess, uh, um, guitar, something, I don't know, he's singing some songs. That's basically how he's been supporting himself while he's been in Spain. So she's there, she got the crushed up pills. The bartender, while Mickey is still performing, the bartender brings over their drinks. She puts, she was able to slip the pill, the crushed pills in his drink. He takes one sip and was and spits it out. I'm like, oh my God, this tastes like something's wrong with the tap. So he dumps that, dumps that drink out, right, and asks for another one. So she's like, oh, oh my God, what, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? So, at this point, Sue and Gail, they're going to get a rental car, right? And at some point, Chief runs across somebody who's selling knockoff bags, right? Gucci or uh, 
Louis Vuitton or something. I know some luggage. So they get a phone call from Linda because his uh, Mickey set wasn't over. So he, you know, got the drink and I guess he went back to finish. So while he was still performing, she had to let them know that oh, he tasted the drink. He t it tasted funny. He threw it out. So he didn't drink the entire thing. So they're like, oh shit, what are we gonna do? So they come up with okay, we have to get back to the hotel so that we can crush up some more pills so we can, you know, when so you can um, put them in the drink. No, actually, Mickey eventually comes by. And she, uh, he basically asking her for money. Now, at this point, she doesn't know. Sue had already gotten the call. While they were doing getting a rental car, Sue got the call from Andrew. And Andrew basically said that whatever money that the cruise line was supposed to give Linda, that's now in her accounts. But at this point, Linda doesn't know that. And that the cruise are going to, is going to be docking there in like a day or two. And if Linda wants to take the cruise home, she can do that instead of you guys getting back on the plane. They're going to comp, comp her stay um, on the cruise. And so Sue and Gail are kind of working this all out. Okay. So back at the bar, basically Linda's saying that I don't have any money because at this point she doesn't know that she has access to the um, the the uh, insurance, the, the money from the cruise line. And she said, man, my cars are back at the room. He said, we have to go back to your room to get the, go, we have to go back to your room. And so she's letting it. This is when she lets them know that it was dumped out. And this is when she finds out about. I think this is when she finds out about the money. And uh, they, they, she tells him that he wants to go back to the room to get the card. And so this is when they come like, okay, we have to get there first and crush up some more pills. So at this point, Mickey doesn't know that Gail and uh, Gail and Sue is in Spain with Linda. So they get, drive back to the hotel, almost kill themselves, right? And. Linda and Mickey arrives at the hotel. She asked uh, Mickey to stay in the bar and then she would go up to get the cards. And at first, at first he was like, well, why would you do that? And he's, that's what she told him. Well, Gail and Sue is here with me. And if they see you, then it's all, you know, then it's all over. And he's like, oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. So Linda takes the stairs. And I guess in the attempt, because if she had taken the elevator, then he would have known what floor she was on, I guess. I'm assuming that's why she took the stairs. So she took the stairs. So she's hoofing it up, 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 I however many flights of stairs. Gail and Sue arrive at the hotel. They see Mickey. So, of course, they are able to, they saw him. He didn't see them. They were able to slide, you know, slide on through with that, that uh, luggage and hit, hit the elevator. And somehow they met with Linda up in the hallway on their floor. So they get to the hotel room. They crush up the pills, right? Uh, Linda goes back down to the bar, orders some more drinks. Somehow she's able to slip these pills but into his new, into this drink. He drinks the entire thing down. And so she's just kind of making small talk with him until the pills take effect. They eventually do. And now he just looks like somebody who's had too much to drink. And so that's when they, Linda and uh, Sue, uh, Sue and Gail come in and they're like basically treating him like, oh, he's just had too much to drink. We're just going to go ahead and put him to bed, right? Get Mickey upstairs. They flop him on the bed. <laughs> Sue phone, uh, Linda's phone ring is Ruby again. She's, you know, trying to find out, you know, she's, you know, having a difficult time. Obviously, it's her father. So, she's like, I think I should be there, and I want to come over, and I could be there at such and such a time, and da 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 Okay. They're basically, no, no. So, while she's talking to Ruby and trying to prevent Ruby from coming over, Gail and Sue are trying to roll Mickey's ass off the bed into the daggone luggage, trying to stuff him into the luggage and zip the luggage up, Okay. So they finally get that done. She gets the Ruby off the phone. They stroll on out, just as casual as you want with this luggage. Just strolling on, right? And they actually find somebody to help them lift that bag, lift the bag into the car, right? So they, you know, thank them, say their goodbyes to the person, the nice gentleman who helped them. And then they 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 kind of scurry off into the dark to find some secluded place, right, to dump Mickey's body. So eventually they do. Off into the damn water, Mickey goes. And then they start, you know, start laughing that they've been able to pull, you know, have the stage this little cool and pull it off, right? And so eventually they start laughing. Linda starts laughing and then she starts crying. I think she's like, oh my God, it's finally over. I don't have to do this anymore, right? So the next scene is basically them sitting on the on the cruise. So they decided to take the cruise home. And they're sitting there just having cocktails, just like girls, like girlfriends do, just chit-chatting, right? And so, next, the, last, the final scene you see is the suitcase bobbing up. So, I don't know how much Mickey weighed, but that suitcase didn't stay underwater for long. So, eventually, somebody's going to find that suitcase and find Mickey's body. 
And then that's going to be a whole other set of questions because they're going to be like, okay, so if this is Mickey, then who the hell did you identify in the morgue? Okay. So, another thing that stood out. Is Mickey a murderer too? Because he had to have known that at some point, Linda was going to have to come through to identify the body. And he knew that there was going to have to be a, a body for her to identify. So they just happened to have a body with a tattoo on the arm. Even though it wasn't the same tattoo as Mickey, it was still a tattoo on the arm. So did Mickey kill somebody too? To, to, so he could keep on with the charades and so get this insurance money? That's going to be an interesting question. So, that's basically how uh, the season ended. She didn't already, she didn't got all, both her friends implicated. They all played a role in Mickey's demise at this point. So, they all have this secret to keep. And, Lord, I hope Gail don't cry. <laughs> I can turn all their asses in, right? Because she's, she's been the one who's had the most problems, issues with it. So, I can't wait for season two. I think it's a really good show. And I, I just can't wait to see how this is all going to play out. So I'm going to end this video here and I'll talk to you guys later.